candidate appealing Alabama GOP move to disregard votes. This undated photo provided by the Alabama Republican Party shows state GOP Chair Terry Lathan. Lathan released a statement on Wednesday, May 30, 2018, asking people not to vote for Jim Bonner, a Republican candidate for the Alabama Public Service Commission. The statement cited egregious comments made by the candidate on radio and social media. AP Photo, Alabama Republican Party, Birmingham, Alabama. AP, a statewide candidate censured over egregious public comments said Friday that he is appealing the state GOP's decision to disregard any votes he receives in next week's primary, but it may not matter. Jim Bonner, who is running for Alabama's Utility Regulating Public Service Commission, said Republican officials could face a backlash if they don't treat his case seriously. They risk alienating one million voters with this, he said. But party chair Terry Lathan said Bonner's request for an appeal hearing won't be considered until August. 25 weeks after Tuesday's election, and the full state executive committee would have to agree to hear it. Bonner, 65, is a former community college teacher and two-time delegate to the Republican National Convention. Party officials this week censured the Phil Campbell man over comments he made on social media and radio that could be offensive to groups including women, blacks, Jews and Muslims. The party took the added step Thursday of saying it wouldn't certify Bonner's votes against Public Service Commissioner Jeremy Oden. When our state party chooses to take these steps, it is a serious and rare occurrence. We strongly believe that this is one of those solemn moments. This vote was carefully considered and was not taken lightly, Lathan said in a statement. The decision came during a telephone conference call in which Bonner said he told a party committee he was being outrageous partly to attract free publicity since he has raised little money and can't afford advertising. I can't get on the radio and do a lot of advertising about me or my opponent, Bonner said in an interview. Bonner said Republican leaders are against him because he's campaigning for tighter regulation of the politically powerful Alabama Power Co. While Bonner hasn't held elected office, he may be benefiting from his last name. The Montgomery-based political consulting firm Singel said a recent survey showed Bonner in a tight race with Odin among decided voters, although nearly 70% of voters are undecided. The firm said voters may be picking Bonner because former U.S. Rep. Joe Bonner used to represent Southwest Alabama in Congress, and Joe Bonner's sister Judy Bonner was president of the University of Alabama. Jim Bonner said he is a distant relative of the brother and sister but has no relationship with either. In a bid to clear up any confusion, Joe Bonner held a news conference in Mobile on Friday to say he's not running for office. He said he doesn't know that he's ever met Jim Bonner and doesn't believe they are related. Joe Bonner told reporters he has received calls from all over the state recently from people who mistakenly thought he was re-entering politics. Underscore 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 AP writer Kim Chandler contributed from Montgomery. Copyright Copyright 2018 The Associated Press all rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, written or redistributed.